ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is dj a 9 zt and we're back with WWE Champions in another 5-star bronze character gameplay preview video. And we got the zombies rolling on in here, and you see him right here on my background. We got Jeff Hardy, the decomposing enigma. He's going to be your free-to-play superstar for the month of October. And we're going to be building him up, and let's get a look at him today and see what he is all about. All right, here he is. Okay, it was a little laggy. It's only laggy on my transitions, I guess. Okay. Hardy looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, he actually looks like a zombie to me. I like it. I was wondering, uh, you know, you got to wonder, like, what they're going to do to keep the zombies fresh. I love the fact that his arms are decomposed, and it kind of looks like the arm things that he normally wears. Like, I think that's fantastic. No gear, no gear. But let's take a look in the poster here. Training ability... Take less damage from black submission moves, and he's a trainer. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a defensive thing there. Maybe uh, a secondary person in showdown or something. I don't know. We'll always find a use for it somewhere down the road. But, uh, hey, he's free, so you can't complain much. He's got a Zombies Link for more health. Zombies 2020 for bleed damage. Modern Era, 5%. Let's take a... Oh, you know what we didn't check here? What the 4 and 5 star moves were. So, four-star move is the bisection leg drop, and the five-star move is the long-gone bomb. All right? Now, let's take a look at the first move set I'm going to show you. None of these are the four- and five-star moves. This would be a move set you could run at three stars, so just scale it down. Uh, we got double purple moves here. The Twist of Hate and the Leg Catch Head Taker. So, eight charge on the Twist of Hate. Deal 34,391 damage. Swap a one-by-four random area into green gems. Then the Leg Catch Head Taker was 6 charge purple deal, 35,134 damage and deal, 19,184 bleed damage to your opponent for 5 turns. And then the Hardiac Arrest 8 charge deal, 40,203 damage and make 5 random gems into purple gems. So the Hardiac Arrest feeds both of these and the Twist of Hate feeds the Hardiac Arrest. You just keep him bleeding in between times there. They probably stack up bleeds too, so I'm rolling with Woods to start the purple up. I got Daniel Bryan on there to make four more purple gems so that we can chuck nine random purple on the Hardiac Arrest. Really trying to recycle here. Uh, we got And we got both DXs on here, VIPs, for matching purple and green gems to recycle better. And they can nerf uh, opponent multiply gems and all that. But we're not going for that. We're going out here against Vader. All right. He's the no medals, no perks opponent that we can go against on the road and by god that's who i'm going against with our free-to-play superstar so let's see if jeff hardy can get it done out here against vader oh that's sick that's sick right there the entrance i like it look at vader all generic jeff hardy gets that sick entrance all right, let's just cue, cue the crowd noise. All right, we got some purple on turn one. We got the we got some. Hey, ninety eight thousand damage! Look at that. Got an opponent that can't nerf me. You guys are gonna be seeing healthy doses of battle invader. Forgotten gems and free to play superstars from now on. It's Vader. It's gonna be Vader time. All right. Lead catch head, leg catch head taker. So we got that bleed damage going. Twist of hate's gonna give us a random green area here. This should nearly fill it. If you, oh, if you catch that cascade, dog, you're good. Boom. Okay, green's ready. Green's gonna chuck eleven random purple. Bop. Hit him in the face. Ninety six K. Oh, and he's bleeding. He's bleeding in the cover here. And he's gonna bleed again. Keep him bleeding. All right, let's stack some bleed up on him. And back. I know what it is, man. But when we get free to play Jeff Hardy's in this game, they're pretty decent. He's pretty decent, guys. First opinion here, hot take, pretty good. And this is a three-star build. This isn't even moves that require you leveling him 
Like, so you don't even got to go through that painful stage to get here. Look at that. 44,000 a turn there while they're stacked. Oh, another 44k. Look at the substantial lead we got on him here. Jeff Hardy, mega fast. Mega fast. Oh, Bleed's going to be stacking up again. Now that he's only got one of them going. Yo, you thought you were done bleeding, didn't you? And let's make 11 random purple here. This might all but do it. He plays a little like Jey Uso. With those low charge green and purple going back and forth. Look at all that bleed damage, man. You'd maybe consider just running bleed damage trainer on there and not running Daniel Bryan, but I'm one of like, I was in a place where I'm like, I'd rather make gosh darn sure that I'm recycling. You know what I mean? Like, but hey, that was a substantial victory right there. Not bad at all. Easy wins, easy wins. How many health packs was that? 15. Not bad at 5 star. Alright. Let's get another move set in here. By section leg drop, make 5 random gems into green gems. Okay. Let's look at some other stuff. The original finisher was the scream in the wind. Green move 10. Charge. Deal 52,900 damage. Destroy 8 random gems and pin the opponent. Okay. So, uh, that's just, uh, random gems. So that's why I didn't really, I kind of stayed away from that. Then there was double blue moves here. Sit out Skullbreaker, 8 charge, deal 37,223 damage and make 5 random red gems into green gems. And then there's the bisection leg drop, 8 charge blue, deal 40,203 damage and make 5 random gems into green gems. So you can go random red into green and then just random into green. And, but if you did that with the finisher here, like that would be the logical choice because you're not going to use the Hardiac Arrest to make purple gems. That won't help. So if you go with the Scream in the Wind here, uh, it's going to be, if there's not a whole bunch of blue on the board, like what are the odds that you're going to break enough blue to really do damage? So at the four star level, I'm probably still running this move set right here. But if you get to five star, you could easily then sub in three moves here you get the two blue moves in oh no don't do that uh and then you could run with the five star move the long gone bomb the long gone bomb six charge green deal 33,606 damage and choose one gem to make into a two turn countdown that will deal zero damage and swap a three by one random area into blue gems so we run that and then do the blue gem chucking to uh, make the green. And that'll fill the green every time you hit the blues. So Let's go ahead and uh, get trainered up here. Move charge. We're going to bring Lawler in. Guys, if this one isn't that in-depth, like, I'm going to do another video on him at 4-star, hopefully. And let's do Razar. Now, Razar is going to give you an extra blue move point, too. Not only is he the green gem generation trainer, but he's going to give you an extra blue move point. And then, since we're not using any purple... Let's go ahead and put Andre in this slot. I need to get Elias. I need to complete my MP coaches. Elias is the only one I don't have. I'm waiting for him to come out of that VIP, though. Alright, Hardy's all trainered up here. Like I said, I'm going to do another video, four star, show you that uh, some lower level stuff, and I'll use some lower level coaches and trainers on that. 
But let's get out here against Vader and see if this moveset's going to get the job done. I'm excited. I, I wanted, uh, you know, over the last two months, I've been noticing, uh, last month was my month of techs. I built up, like, all the techs that I already had, and I only took Pete Dunn as high as I needed. I took him to four bronze and called it quits, but... I'm glad I waited, because I'd rather put resources into Hardy here, so... We're going 11 random red into green right here. Does he got, like, a monthly boost of two? It seems like those are extra gems than they were supposed to be. There should be a lot of green. Decent. You get him strapped up with some double fury on that, man. Woo! Alright, two turns and, uh... Potential spam. Sorry, I need to mute the old phone there. That's twice now. That's twice now in one one video, DJ. The phone goes off. Alright, we got blue we can match here. And he left the blue for us again. I like it. Oh, I guess that's next turn that was going to go off anyway. I should have filled green. I should have broke green there. Hey, I'm getting the hang of him. I'm just getting the hang of him here. Why did my turn skip there? Countdown gem's broken again. Did you see that? Why did my turn skip out? Alright, we he's bugged. He's bugged. Bugged for sure. Did anybody else see that? Man, that's another big one. I like it. You guys know I like gem chuckers too. I call them gem chuckers. They're my favorite because you don't have to think to do anything. You just hit the move and it goes off. Alright, we'll be a little smarter now. We'll try and fill green as we'll know. Well, no, I gotta take that blue match. Take the blue match, but next turn probably look for green. Because that would fill it then the following turn. I wonder if that's gonna do that every single time. Okay, it's a little annoying. It's very uh, hard to control what's going to happen with it. Well, this one should go okay. Unless unless my countdown gem gets turned green from the blue moves. That's a strong possibility, too. Come on. All right, here we go. That should be it. And that's it. What do you guys think about Jeff Hardy at 5-star, man? He's pretty good. He's pretty good. That 3-star build was pretty killer. So I'm going to bring you guys 4-star gameplay of him as soon as possible. And then I'm going to try to bring you guys a 3-star video of him when I get him up uh, the 3-star and the talent up or whatever. Try and do different videos and just keep showing him at different rarities. So 
you guys can see, uh, you know, how he plays at all of that. Had a lot of feedback in the past, uh, last month that said that. I also am going to be bringing you a video of uh, breaking down the math and everything that you will need to max him out this month. So be on the lookout for the price to max. Uh, really excited to do that video. So I'm going to have that coming up. And I got a ton of backlog videos of polls that I've been doing on stream. So be on the lookout for those. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, man. It's the red button right underneath the video player. It says subscribe on it. You click that. And while you're down there, you drop an insane elbow right down on that thumbs up button for me. That stuff helps me out tremendously, guys. It's free to you. And uh, it doesn't cost you anything. And it helps me out. So why wouldn't you do that for me? So thanks for watching. And until next time, guys, peace.